much did you research martial arts when you were watching that? Like, and how, mu- how much uh, knowledge do you have about martial arts? Uh, uh, quite a bit, as, at least as far as like, you know, the p- practitioners of it and everything, yeah. But it, as far as like f- how fights go down and like different styles and oh, yeah, well, things along those uh, no, well, no, well, pretty much. I mean, you know, because I, for, at, at a certain point, you know, I was choreographing the fights in Kill Bill. Oh yeah, yeah, and, and and it was like the stunt team that was executing them. Well, you have this deep love for those Hong Kong films, right? As well, exactly. Right? Now look, and look in 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 real life, look the the phoniest thing that in movies is a kung fu film. Yeah, because in real life, no, somebody's gonna fuck up, and the fight's gonna be over in thirty seconds. Right. It's, I mean, you can't do that. It's like somebody's gonna make a mistake. And then that's when, like you know, bam, your jaw's broken on right, the fucking right. ground, or your or your yeah. wrist is broken, or something. Um, but like, yeah, no, Bruce Lee's not gonna win, not not gonna win a kill or be killed fight with a fucking green beret who has killed guys thirty pounds heavier than them in fucking war. Well, in the real world, Bruce Lee was quite a bit smaller than most people too. You yeah. know, I think he was only like 140 pounds or something yeah. like that. And the, you know, and uh, uh, you know, he, you know, he never learned how to take a punch. You know, and he'll say, "Well, uh, you can punch me." Yeah, okay. Well, you know, okay. You know, let me see you be Jerry Quarry, fight Ali for four rounds with a busted jaw. <laughs> Well, he's a tiny guy. There's no way that was ever going to happen. Well, then, you know? exactly. But people talk about it like he's fucking Jesus. Yeah, people do. <laughs> it's, he's well in the martial arts world. Um, there was this dogmatic approach that was um, y- you. You. It was almost like religion. Mm-hmm. You had to believe wholeheartedly in your style. Mm-hmm. If you're a kung fu guy, that you believe in Wing Chun, that was your thing. If you believed in karate, that was your thing. Mm-hmm judo whatever it was you were fully committed and you only trained in that style Mm -hmm. he was the first guy and he did this in the 1960s and the 70s that decided to combine all these arts together and put it together as jeet kune do Mm -hmm. and no one not only had no one done that but it was like highly frowned upon and look and the thing is i'm not putting him down i'm actually a big bruce lee Fan, I think, and the dragon's a piece of shit. But, but, <laughs> but, but, Fist of Fury is fucking great. That's one yeah. of the greatest action movies ever made. When he goes and fights the Japanese in the dojo, and that's yeah. one of the great action scenes of all time. And and he is a magnificent athlete. That's there's no two questions. He may be, you know, the greatest martial art practitioner as an athlete, as somebody who like went on a career, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, 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 to promote it, but and and it bugged him that he couldn't fight the way boxers fight. That they always had to do patty cake. They always had to hold their hold their blows. You know, he always looked at it as like, no, they see that's true combat. I want to do combat, and they won't let me do combat. You know, but boxers do combat. But I was like, you know, talking with uh, um, Matthew Polly, who wrote the uh, uh, biography on Bruce Lee, and. Um, and he goes, well, you know, like, you got to know that, like, the number one question Bruce Lee was asked all the time is, well, what would happen if you and Muhammad Ali fought? Right. And he had different, he had different answers. Sometimes, he would, you know, he, John Saxon would ask him on Enter the Dragon, go, oh, are you kidding? That guy's hands are as big as my head. Uh, but then other times, he had other answers. And it's like, you know, Bruce didn't think anybody could beat him in a fight at the end of the day. All right. And, um, you know, and he watched... Ali's tape. He watched uh, 16 millimeter films of Ali fighting, and it's one of those things where, ah, he drops his left. Okay, well, okay, well, the trick is, I got to be able to fight him without gloves, <laughs> and I got to have kicking privileges. <laughs> mm. Okay, that would be the trick. Well, you know, Ali did. He had that one fight with Inoki. Did you yeah. ever see that? I've heard of it. Yeah, it's pretty wild. He had a a, a boxing match where Inoki. It was a fight. Inoki was allowed to kick him. Mm-hmm. But he did it off of his back. Mm-hmm. So Inoki literally dropped to his back and was kicking Ali's legs. Oh yeah, that that like 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 when that big wrestler guy fought Ali and he spent the entire time on the back on his back. Well, that was him. That was oh, Inoki. that was that guy, that same That's guy. Inoki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. That's him. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's like, you know, Ali had done some weird stuff too, and that was when Ali was the champ. Mm-hmm. So it's a bizarre. No, that, was, that was a crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, but uh, uh, um, I think yeah. Did it bother you the controversy, the Bruce Lee thing? Did it? Do you feel like? Yeah. Well, 
look, like I said, I understood. I, I understood where I understood where his family was coming from. I didn't understand where anybody else was coming from. They could pound sand. <laughs> well, you have to have that attitude to make the kind of films. You yeah, make. right. <laughs> you know. <laughs>